Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Surviving Mars here on the Wooden Otter. We're trying to get a lot done today, so keep up as we jump around our colony to catch all the important things happening. We've got a lot to cover in this episode, from renegades to a research dome. We've got our work cut out for us, so let's jump right into the deep end of the Red Planet with some Surviving Mars. We start this episode with me totally not paying attention to what's going on in my colony. You'll notice in the upper left hand corner, I have a meteor incoming and it's going to strike something important because it's actually giving me a notification and I'm not even checking on it. I'm looking at rovers, I'm, I'm down here looking at my research dome site, I'm, you know, checking on every aspect of my colony except for the one that's about to get detonated by a meteor i even can you can see it in the screen there for a second it's it's gonna hit my main colony and sure enough blam uh three buildings are destroyed and it's of course the three wind turbines that <laughs> provide all of my nighttime energy at this moment uh so i i take this opportunity to demolish the two that i, I don't really need any more Although I do end up building a, a second one back again in a different location. Just to prevent exactly this from happening again, I, I start splitting up my wind turbines in order to uh, kind of compartmentalize my power production and keep all of my wind turbines from being destroyed at the same time. You'll see, of course, though, the meteor hit exactly where it would cut power to my drone controller. So I had to manually give orders to my drones to fix this stuff so kind of annoying the the worst possible spot it could have landed down here at my southern base i sweep down just in time to watch the last few concretes come in on my basic dome uh i'm a little shocked that it's soul 146 and i'm just now building a basic dome i've avoided it uh before now since I didn't want to spend the polymers but now I have the polymers and here goes the dome up uh, in my head I'm thinking well this is gonna be a research location that's why I placed it here in one of the last uh, episodes to get those research bonuses um, but I, I still think that I'm kind of jumping the gun here and uh, I'm putting I'm putting a lot of effort and materials into this really before my population is is ready to move down here because frankly uh, 22 people is not enough people to staff this dome anyway so uh, but yeah I, I put the dome up and it's starting to go a while back I received a influx of money from exporting a bunch of rare metals so I decide to use that money basically to order uh, a rocket of electronic parts um, I, I'm still not quite self-sufficient on electronic parts and I really would like to use some of them to build a school and a Martian University on my colony because I, I frankly I, I just need the specialists I, I'm tired of generalists generalist people being born here on on mars and i really want engineers medics you know botanists etc to staff my buildings and and get better production out of my buildings i think it's the only way i'm ever gonna actually be self-sufficient in a in this current setup anyway here i am down at my research dome just really digging in on on forging ahead with this dome despite you know not quite realizing yet that I'm, I'm not going to have the people to staff all these buildings yet but uh, I'm adding dome services to a dome where no one's gonna live for a while uh, I'm you know just putting in the the standard things I have the smart complex set up uh, and the research station set up but none of those have any electronics yet since I don't have shuttles and I'm not bringing electronics down here yet but I put in the standard the small space bar the diner and the small grocer uh, and then I believe yeah a medic or a, or a 
clinic, whatever, infirmary is the word I'm thinking of, uh, just to cap off those dome services. Again, to date, no one lives there. Just blowing resources. And while I'm blowing resources on the buildings inside the dome, why don't I blow resources on the buildings outside the dome? Uh, looking ahead, I, you know, start building a fully functioning power grid to power a dome where nobody lives. I don't, I don't think I can emphasize this enough. I'm, I'm putting very limited resources into an area where I will get zero return on my investment. I think I put like some towers, a moxie, a water evaporator or moisture evaporator out there all to set a dome up for habitation where still to date, I'm, I'm currently several days ahead in this game at the time of editing this video. Still don't have anyone living there. Just blowing resources. And the worst part is not that I'm actually spending the resources to build the buildings. It's the fact that I'm spending resources to maintain them throughout this whole game. So really, the biggest offender here is the drone hub, where, you know, every few souls I have to shovel an electronics into it, uh, which is, you know really on, you know, not stable footing in terms of production. Uh, so that's, that's really the problem with this dome is I'm getting too far ahead of myself in terms of maintenance, not necessarily building the buildings. Uh, soul 151 rolls around and I, I get this pop up of an anomaly analyzed, which is really great. Um, it gives me a lot of options for what I want to do, but uh, I end up selecting this get two drone hub prefabs because drone hubs take a lot of electronics to build and the prefabs are big and expensive to import from Earth. So I, uh, I definitely went with the drone hub prefabs and I end up putting one down at that southern dome, which as I mentioned before, it's, you know, obviously the prefab was free building it is free, but now I have to maintain the thing, so it's sucking up my electronics when I really don't have a ton of those to go around. Now, at, at this point, I'm in the middle of a, a cold wave, which happens periodically, obviously. Um, I'm waiting on my subsurface heaters to be repaired, and I go to check on my colonists, and what do you know, Marvin Cassini, my first renegade, which I am less than thrilled about. Uh, I tried my hardest, obviously, to keep all of my people sane and comfortable, etc. But he, um, he got cold, and his, his domicile stopped working. And sure enough, the guy thought, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn into a real jerk. And so now I have a renegade. Thanks, Marvin. It's a cold wave. My people are suffering. I'm struggling to keep them comfortable and alive. So what's a colony manager supposed to do? Why spend resources like a maniac, of course. Uh, I have 38 uh, electronics right now thanks to that shuttle coming in. Uh, so I decide to build a Martian university. I'm really impatient for specialists and... Man, I, I, I really need that university to get my buildings producing a little more efficiently. So, even though everything's kind of going downhill a little bit, I'm, I'm building that university come hell or high water. And what better to go with a university than a school? So that way my Martian-born actually start getting some good perks. I got the electronics. Just build it. Let's Let's make our people as smart as they can be course my domes go into uh no life support right as i build it so i'm <laughs> really managing my resources efficiently let me tell you a few days later i actually get around to setting the school up after it's been built for a bit i don't have any children at the time so it, it really doesn't matter but i like to use the school for survivor composed and enthusiast i forget what i i changed it 
from to make it uh, be enthusiast. But uh, those are the things that I want. Enthusiast is really important for work production. Um, and composed is is really great for making sure your Martian born don't freak out at the first, you know, cold wave or, or whatever. Um, still sitting with one Marvin Cassini as a renegade. He's just... I like to think he's the one goth colonist who's like, life is meaningless. And <laughs> he's just, he's the moper of the group. There's like 27 people in the colony and there's just one pissed off guy who's like, I left my girlfriend back on Earth. Thanks, Marvin. You stink. All right, guys, that'll have to be it for now. We made a ton of progress on our colony today. We started out by surviving a pretty bad meteor strike that destroyed our wind turbines, but we built back from that lickety-split. We built up our future research dome, adding a power grid and interior dome services and some exterior buildings as well. Uh, we got our first renegade, thanks to a cold snap. Good old Marvin Cassini, my goth colonist who, you know, has a girlfriend, but she's not going to be at this dance because she goes to a different school. And we built up our... <laughs> we built up our education system with a, a school and a university so we can get some better equipped Martian-born kids to grow up in our domes and we can get some specialists to work in our buildings and really improve the efficiency of those electronics factories, small parts factories, and farms. As always... Please like and subscribe below as it really helps out the channel and I would, of course, appreciate it. Stay tuned to see what the Red Planet has in store for us next time on the Wooden Otter. Peace!